Whatever he's doing, he needs to enjoy it less. It's a good thing you're not from the department. I've just had to declare a full-scale emergency to stifle a breakout. Naturally, it's always the same two detainees who ruin things. That damn Bridget and Sean. Ah! Ah! Blast them. I ruined the day I ever let them into my penitentiary. They've tried to escape four times. They caused nothing but trouble. But I can tell you they're going to be thoroughly sorry because I shall transfer the two of them to a prison asteroid and they can rot in solitary confinement. <laughs> But of course, this is of no interest to you. It's just my problem. Yeah, among many. And I fear I've neglected to ask you, how can I be of assistance? Uh, that is to say, what is uh, <clears throat> the reason for your visit? <clears throat> I'll come right to the point. By glaring. Half this movie is staring contests and uh, people playing with cubes. That was great. Oh. I don't care about this. Now I do. Now Norman is launching one of his special adventures. But he's having to take a lot of punishment. Yeah, he's not the only one. The question is, how long can he stand it? Yeah, the question is, how long can we stand it? prisoners, Bridget Landon and Sean James. <laughs> well, my dears, uh, these two gentlemen have come all the way here just for you. I'd like to introduce you. Thank you. Meet my gonads. I think we can skip the introduction. Naturally. 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 To continue, I propose that we reward the good conduct and excellent behavior that has made your model to all the prisoners on Moon Space. And so I intend to. I intend to. I intend to. Give him a to. thwack. Sometimes he starts to run a little hot. To shorten your sentences by the remaining 78 years and release you in the custody of these two gentlemen who will escort you back to Earth. It was crazy of you, Irene, to bet all that money on me. But I sure am glad to see you again. It must be years since the last time we met. I knew you'd win the fight. Because you're TNT. My uncle says nobody can fight like you can. A ghost. Whenever anybody talks about fighting, he always mentions you. He needs your help, Norman. Should show you how desperate we are. And we're, I'm afraid that we're all going to be needing a lot of help because of that flying saucer. But I heard the news report about it. They said the situation was completely under control by now. Yeah, they it's not lie. true. That's why uncle is reforming the old team. And of course, that includes you. If the professor needs me, that's okay. But I want to bring along a couple of friends. They could be very useful. That was one hell of a sound bridge.
I don't understand. There isn't a living soul around here. But I never mentioned living souls, Irene. Hey, look in that pile of junk. That's one of them. Come on. Thanks, location scout. There's something sort of gruesome about this, right? He's talking about uh, non uh, non living souls. When they go to this graveyard, it's uh, let's see. There's my Freudian slip. It's this junkyard almost looks a little bit like a graveyard. This crappy junkyard brought to you by the letter J. He's looking for the script. This is what you get if you don't clean up a little every day. show it all, Alfonso. And make sure to use a long shot so that we don't get any of the drama. Yeah, another victim of the digital conversion. Sometimes these high sex, these sex toys can almost be higher maintenance than the real thing. Realism. You've made me waste nearly five hours over this. Yeah, tell me about Uncle it. Uncle will be furious. Take it easy, Irene. You'll soon see that your five hours haven't been wasted. Okay, now replace the power unit. With my junk? You take micro batteries, too. Down here. There, perfect. Say something, Tilda. Quack, quack. Damn you, Norman, you interfering, warm-blooded animal. Who authorized you to reactivate me? Why can't two poor robots commit suicide in peace without some meddling human recharging their circuits? Tilly and I wanted to put an end to it all because... Now let me see, what was it exactly? Anyway, you should have kept out of it. What's that noise? Oh, why, it's her, starting the journey to the eternal nothing. Hurry, there's not a minute to lose. If you don't want me to go to pieces again, you must save her. Quick, before her tender tin limbs are crushed like kitchen foil in that cruel machine. Oh, Tilly, my precious Tilly. You know, this movie just got a lot more plausible. You won't make it in time, Tilly. I can fly! Oh. Silly, my darling. Light of my transistors. Maybe a touch her heavy on the mascara there, honey. Tilly. Sweet little Tilly. Thank heaven he made it in time. She's beautiful, isn't she? Oh, yes. She's really beautiful. We're engaged, beautiful. you know. We love each other deeply. That gives me the right to step on everyone's lines. Quick, Norman. Get the trash off her. That carefully prearranged trash. It's such an indignity for her, mixing with junk from such low-class machines. Hurry! Oh, I doubt it's the first time. Hurry! doubt you came provided with fresh micro batteries for her too. Uh-huh. Damn, that's where Tilly, my on Trish. switch is too. Are you all right? Tim, my dear, is that you? Are we in robot heaven? I expected something different. No, Tilly, we're not dead. We've been reactivated. Oh, darling, I wondered if I'd ever see you again. I'm sorry our suicide pact was a failure. It was such a romantic idea. Sorry we're and not dead. I know dead. how hard you tried to make it work. I don't mind, Tilt. One can't have everything in life. Like death. By the way, Tilly, I must have a splintered crystal in my memory bank. I can't remember why we made a suicide pact. You can't remember? Oh, Tilt, how can you be so unfeeling? It was because... Horrible, aren't they? It was because we decided to end it all. Yes, but why? Why? Oh, dear. I can't remember either. And you really think that these two funny little robots can actually...